Welcome to Integration Hub Demo. Today, I'm going to show you the SAP ECC iDoc spoke. SAP ECC iDoc spoke is very straightforward. Uh, it's an asynchronous integration between ServiceNow to SAP. What it means is it's mostly is create or post things from ServiceNow to SAP one way, fire and forget. You don't really expect any response message back from uh, SAP into ServiceNow. Everything will be just straight push from ServiceNow to SAP. Uh, some of the scenarios can be um, pushing some new fixed assets or POs or the purchase requisition, the PRs from ServiceNow into SAP. So that can be a uh, possible of the scenarios. Uh, remember, SAP is a on-premise uh, software which resides behind the customer's firewall, which means you need to uh, configure the mid-server in order to integrate between uh, ServiceNow and SAP behind the firewall. Okay, and right now this one supports the SAP ECC6 EHP X version. Uh, it's tested and again, uh, it tested against uh, the internal sandbox that we have. Um, so uh, theoretically, it can support um, the, the older version, the EHP7, but we haven't tested against that instance uh, for sure. So uh, if you communicate with your prospect customers, uh, just set that right expectation that, hey, this uh, spoke tested against the EHP8, but didn't test against the EHP7 or any other versions of it. So that's the version of SAP, this SAP ECC iDoc spoke supports. So let's jump to the demo real quick. Right here, we have uh, one scenario config, uh, which is called the uh, create materials. Uh, before I jump into this uh, whole big payload of it, uh, let me showcase the list of actions that we have for the SAP ECC spoke. So right here, and you can see um, we have a lot of, as I mentioned before, only create and post and some updates from ServiceNow to SAP. You can see fixed assets, uh, journal entry, uh, create materials, and uh, good receipts, so on so forth. So those are all out of, out of the box for the customer to uh, play around. And as you know, uh, Spoke itself is pretty, um, is pretty extensible, so that anyone with uh, SAP and ServiceNow knowledge can learn from this framework and uh, you know, extend this Spoke and post things from ServiceNow into SAP. But for the out-of-the-box out spoke perspective, the action perspective, uh, these are all the actions available for a customer to use, which some of them are very popular use cases, right? Journal entries, uh, geo accounts, and all these things, okay? And next, expand uh, this create materials a little bit. Uh, for iDoc uh, to integrate between ServiceNow to SAP, you need the connection aliases, the sender port, the partner number of sender. So these will be pre-config in SAP and SAP expert uh, should able to guide you through how to set those up. The core meat of this uh, integration or this book will be the items, okay? The items will be, for example, here, uh, these are all the SAP specific values. So this assumption that a uh, customer will have these foundational master data pre-synced uh, from SAP into ServiceNow, which we are not going to cover in this uh, demo, but these will be the expectation. Uh, these master data will be uh, synced beforehand, like material types, industry, sector, and all these things. So just want to give you some example uh, what fields we filled out. So in case you want to create your own POC in your own demo hub uh, instance of uh, SAP, uh, these are some kind of reference that you can uh, use to recreate the similar demo for your customer. Okay. It's a huge list, uh, a big payload. As you can imagine, SAP is is pretty a complex system, very robust system, uh, and, and it has a lot of fields and very different permutation that you can uh, play around with. So these are some of the required fields that needs to be done per, per our ServiceNow experience with SAP. And this is one of the item one demo. So let's put one right here is called EK. And uh, so that we know, hey, this is a newly created materials for this demo. So EQ1, uh, let's make sure. 
And then for this one, you can see these are all also pre-config. Right? The function, the plant, purchasing group, so on and so forth. Okay. Yep. So available check, profit center. And uh, let's see if they created this one as well. Yep. Let's see. And uh, also this one. So feel free to pause around this video to get the right field uh, in case you need to recreate this uh, iDoc call. And that's it. Yes, it's a huge list. It's expected. It's SAP. So uh, get used to it. It's what it is. And uh, let's click on the test button. This time, let's run on the background so that we can have the freedom of clicking around. And now it's triggering and creating a whole flow or whole payload and push it from uh, ServiceNow to SAP one way right here. Of course, you, you saw this payload is pretty huge already. So, you know, in a very usual scenario, you don't want to keep, you know, hitting it one one payload for for one transaction. I dot means to uh, you have bundled several items together and then you send it over into um, the SAP system in one shot. It's like it's huge and it takes quite a while to do a round um, to do a uh, one trip from ServiceNow to SAP. If we are done, it's about a couple minutes before it's actually um, heading to the endpoint. So let's examine what's in there. And it's still going. And it's done. Awesome. As you can see, this one has been created into, uh, I mean, this is re respond back from uh, SAP into uh, ServiceNow. And that's good. I mean, at least we have the doc number right here to refer something onto. So that in case you want to build more flow uh, to extend this uh, flow right here, then you can always get something from the doc number of these materials and build further kind of logics uh, beyond this sample flow right here. Okay. And you can use the dot number to do that. And this one, yep, this one is the payload sending from uh, ServiceNow to SAP. I'm not going to scroll through all these things because it's going to be 2046 uh, after I scroll them all. Uh, so, we, But you get a concept cross. You see, hey, this we created a huge payload and uh, sent it into SAP. So now let's go to uh, SAP and find out this Fujitsu Cloud EK1. Okay. So this is the SAP instance. Right now I'm showing you, hey, we, it doesn't exist right now. Uh, let me do a fetch again. And theoretically, you can see a Fujitsu Cloud EK1 right here. So let me cancel out of it. And then we can uh, do it one more time on this. So let's click on search click on ok then you just yeah ek1 now oh, there you go man it's right here da -da. did i click it Hold on. yep let's let's just click it so let's check it out i mean he has it so that my bad and then click OK. Yes. Some basic data that we want. Uh, this one. And then click on here. Then you can view more information about whatever payload we pass in from ServiceNow to SAP. That's what will be displayed right here in SAP. Or oh, in FYI, uh, how I get to this screen is uh, MM03. So if it's slash N, MM03, then you are able to... Uh, Get back into here and you can search for, don't handle anything if you want to retrieve all and then just click enter and then you can see, hey, 
these are the uh, materials that I'm looking for. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the integration hub team and we are here to help. Thank you. Take care.